So here is where you get your papers, your permits to travel around Afghanistan. Otherwise, you're only allowed to stay in Kabul without paperwork. Or you can run into troubles at Caliban checkpoints. Three hours later, and still no paper. This is the Afghan bureaucracy. It takes a while. Day three of getting permits to travel through Afghanistan, and still we haven't made it. But in case you're curious, send me a line and we'll give you a shortcut to speed up this process. In fact, you can, I think, deal with lots of this stuff already before you arrive in Afghanistan. Here's also a beautiful monument with many Taliban flags. <laughs> And there you see the big flag. This is on a hill, actually. So we're heading back downtown. Four minutes left here, back to the main park. Now you see already traffic intensifies. So today we're gonna meet Emma. Emma Witters, the Afghan traveler. She really uh, is one of the few people who filmed, I think, the most about Afghanistan as a foreigner. So I'm very excited to meet her. Actually, she was also my main inspiration to come here because she showed me how safe and beautiful this country is. The mosque prayers. Checkpoint. Downtown checkpoints are like useless. They're just waving everybody through like zombies. They're not even paying attention who's in the car. <laughs> now I'm here with my camera, two cameras, phone. Nobody pays attention here. Yeah, but outside the city, since there are less cars, they pay more attention. But here, they're overwhelmed because there are like hundreds of cars passing every minute. And I can't check them carefully, especially with this traffic. Our guide Abbas has a better English than me. Yeah. Where do you learn English? Uh, all at home. At home? And he never been oh, abroad? I'm a self taught English speaker. Aye, aye, aye. You just said that it's so quiet here compared to Pakistan and now they're honking. Yeah, he's, so you learned English by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But you're also an English teacher. Yeah, first I, you know, uh, learned how to speak, then I started teaching. Okay. I see. And it's been a very amazing experience. <laughs> very fascinating. I wish I could speak as fluent as you. Yeah. So anyway, I think this is the Sophie Landmark Hotel already. So we can just park anywhere here. Oh, there's a little cow on the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Afghan Coca-Cola van. Or if some dents in the front. I mean, there are no cars without dents, really. I think this is the Sufi Landmark Hotel, one of the most known hotels here in Kabul. Uh, no photography, no. but we have videography, so it's different. No photos. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Emma. Nice to meet wow, you. the reason we're here. <laughs> wow, nice this is our guide, Hi. Yeah, Abbas. Uh, I'm their local guide. Oh, okay. What's your yeah. name? My name is Abbas. Abbas? Yes. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to yeah. meet you too. Yeah, he's not an official guide, he's just a friend from Carlsdorfing, but he speaks perfect English. Oh, very good. Yes. Yeah. Have you had lunch? No. All right, yeah. let's have some lunch. Where can we eat? Um, there's places around here. Are you from Kabul? Yes, I'm from yeah. Kabul, but... Uh, there's no food in this place. Okay, then let's go out. What's your bag? Yeah, I was just getting my phone out. All right. I used to walk around a lot. Yes. But not anymore. Okay. Alone. <laughs> Why? Oh, the kids. No, but because because everybody recognizes me. Ah, you are very famous yeah. now. Even the driver in uh, Peshawar, he knows you. So, oh, we have to watch Emma. <laughs> That's yes. so funny. So, thank you. Very interesting. You are the Afghan superstar. Are you speaking English? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. No. So here we are going to have lunch. Yeah, again, strict security. This way. Yeah. All right. So we got in. We have very nice midget guard. Wow. Yeah. Traditional food. It's special to this restaurant, and it's a traditional food. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you'll like it. Okay, <laughs> let's try dough. And vegetables. Full mutton, 13 kilo. They're going to cost you 115 British pounds. So what is this? Chicken? What did you order? Yeah. Uh, this, this is a special kebab. Uh-huh. And it's for a little two. bit of everything. <laughs> it's like a baby chicken. Or oh, the entire chicken, but it's a very young one. Mm -hmm. What is that? And here is palau, huh? 
Oh, this is from Isn't Palau. Yeah, no, Kabul, actually, yes. Palau. Kab Kabuli yeah, Palau. Yeah, ah, yeah, Palau. Yes, I heard Palau. I didn't know that. Yeah. This is for you, Steve. Like right? Oh, these are the veggies. Like okay. Follow me on TikTok. Ah. Here with the very famous, legendary, <laughs> wandering Emma. Yeah. And right now, where are we going? We're going to Chicken Street. To so the famous Chicken Street. Yes. I see. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel for you to walk around Kabul? Well, I'm, I, I, I don't walk around Kabul alone anymore. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because <laughs> too many people recognize me, as oh, you saw. <laughs> it happens all around, yeah? Yeah, all, the, all over the country. Yeah, and especially now, even outside of uh, yeah. um, Afghanistan, in Peshawar, the taxi driver. <laughs> yeah, I just say, I'm going to Kabul. Oh, you have to say, uh, Emma, yeah? You have to uh, see Emma's videos, yeah? So he was recommending you. Very, very nice. Yeah, yeah, so that's what you're known for right now. And what can we see in the Chicken Street? Um, chicken Street was like really big on the, yeah. hippie, on the hippie trail in the yeah. 60s and the 70s. Yes. Um, you know, it was like people would come and get their opium and their hash. So yeah. Chill out there on their way to Kathmandu yes. or wherever and buy clothes. So there's like it's old antique shops, yes. uh, old like jewelry shops, stuff like that. Um, th see. There's not. It, there used to be more apparently, but there's still some left. I see. So it completely changed during the time. Yeah, because you know? business is closed and everything, you know. Yeah. Like a lot of businesses. I see. But what is the place to be where people hang out usually? Is there like nightlife in Kabul? You haven't been to a nightclub in Kabul yet? There, what are you talking about? Is there about? nightlife? Like, of course. I mean, not. <laughs> no, but tea, tea, people go out to get tea. You know, I have not seen, like, uh, you've been to Iraq. No. No, well, like Iraq, it's a huge tea culture where yes, you see lots of... Yes, they have nightlife. I saw you yeah. here from Iraq. Yeah, but it's uh, not like here at no, night. No, no. Yeah. Everything kind of shuts down, like, um, just sort of like... Nine, ten o'clock, restaurants okay. sort of closed and it, it, things quiet down at night. It's a very unique country. I see. <laughs> it's very different than any other country. So what is your recommendation for travelers who want to come here? Oh, recommendation for travelers, do your, do your research, yeah. find um, contacts. Yeah, contacts are very contacts important. Coming here without very, contacts is very complicated. And paperwork, uh, it's very... <laughs> It's it's not it's the most difficult country I think I've oh, traveled. I see. For yeah. bureaucracy and paperwork. Right, and right. Yeah. For us, it's day three, and we still haven't got the paper yet to travel outside of Kabul. Yeah, yes. It's, it's uh, I, uh, last time I was here for two weeks because I couldn't get paperwork. It, it's not uniform, you know. Like you have the paperwork, that doesn't guarantee yeah. that you can film it. You still have to get paperwork in another place. I see. When you get there. I see. And even yeah. then, the Taliban can take you to the police. It's going to arrest you. So you were arrested how often? Two times. Oh, two <laughs> times already. Let's hope it stays that way. Okay. All right. Let's go to the chicken street. Mr. So Cook fast food. It's like a chain. I saw this before. Mr. Cook. Uh huh. This is like their McDonald's. People here in general are very, very friendly, I think. Yeah, they're very curious. And um, I think, quite honest, no scams so far. Have you been scammed? No. no, not at all. Huh? Uh, People are very honest. The taxi drivers uh, taxi want more, drivers. yes. They want more than what I agree, but that's all actually. But that's like taxi drivers all over the world. Yes. <laughs> this in Iraq too, everybody. One of my videos, See. something happened in one of my videos with the traffic police. Yeah. And it blew up on social media. Yeah. And I was, so it blew up so much that the ministry from the government, yes. the, the, the um, general came to my hotel to apologize for this traffic oh. policeman. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, I said, I was okay with it. I, okay. I dealt with the situation. I did not expect all well, this. It went on Iraq women's rights. It went everywhere. Wow. What happened to Iraq? I was just making a vlog like this and a, tra yeah. a traffic policeman Came yeah. running across from his thing and yes. he's like cigarette. <laughs> I'm like what? Yes. I said I don't know what you're saying and he was talking to me and uh -huh. he got his phone out like Facebook and yes. I'm like I'm not giving you my num my Facebook thing yes. and I didn't know what he said and I got back to my hotel and I asked the girl what was it any bad words she says no it's funny so I uploaded it uh -huh. and. Uh, like 24 hours, everything went viral. Wow. That clip, and apparently he was saying, telling me 
he didn't know I was a foreigner so, and he's, yes. he's, he was getting angry at me for not talking Arabic oh, and he's telling me to speak Arabic and stop speaking a foreign language <laughs> and then he asked for my what's what's face number uh-huh. um, or what's face something because he he couldn't read or write yes so and he had a cigarette hanging out and he was getting aggressive yes and I just walked away and I'm like Jesus Christ I don't know what he was saying I, I, I wasn't upset, but the whole of Iraq was upset. Uh huh. Very funny. And uh, interesting. Uh, so in Iraq, I couldn't go anywhere without anybody recognizing me. No, you're even more famous in Iraq now. Actually, you didn't <laughs> yeah. know that. Yeah. I cause a scandal in every country. <laughs> Is this already Chicken Street? No, it's down. Oh, but it looks also interesting. Lots of uh, what is it? Clothing. Is this still not Chicken Street? No. But it's okay. I bought a few paintings from here. Oh. Wow, you can see the Buddha. Beautiful paintings. Hello. It's me again. How are you? Oh, hello. Are you the artist? Yes. yes. What is your name? John Ali. John Ali. John Ali. Nice to meet you, John Ali. You. you have beautiful artwork, I see. Thank you. Uh huh. What are you working on right now? This nothing. Oh, $10 for the painting. Yeah. That's a very good price. Yeah. yeah this 20, this 30. Oh. The cheap price. Okay. A lot so, of people take it. I recommend people to come to the shop. Yeah. Very good prices here. Yeah. Very affordable. Yeah. That's this amazing. This is my style. This two color. Yes. Based on the world's most famous photograph, the Afghan girl with her eyes. Yeah, but I think. It's exaggerated, it's not that much the real photo. Very beautiful, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Danger. Uh, here are also lots of antique shops as well. We could see almost everything. Here is another antique store. Salam alaikum. Wow, we have. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Oh, you know each other. Oh, Ahmed, yes, yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice okay. Nice to see you again. So, Ahmed, what is the most expensive item you have in your shop? Probably upstairs, right? Upstairs. Upstairs? Ah, oh, secret items upstairs. Yeah. Are you allowed to show them? We're curious, we need to see upstairs. Are we able to? Yes? Yeah. I just lock the door. They're for smoking whatever. Wow. No. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar. I'm just coming here in the secret chamber. Yeah. Wow. All dark. Wow. This is very fascinating. The guns are very unique, but I can't do anything with them. I would love to bring it home. Can you imagine me at the airport with this? In Kabul, no problem. In Kabul. Wow. In Kabul, yeah. In Kabul, no problem. No problem. Let's see. What is the most expensive you have here? And how much does it cost? Uh, this one four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollar. Is it for tea? It's for tea. Ah oh, yes. Let's put water here. Okay. And here is wood. I see. I see. Then it's, uh, is it very old? Yeah. It's very old. Yeah. It has a date here. Oh, you can see the date. Oh, it's over 100 years old. Over 100 years old. Wow. $1,200. Oh, $1,200 for this teapot. This is also 100 this years is, old. This is Russian. Russian. It has a date here. 1838, it's like almost 200 years old. No, almost 200. And who are your customers? No, it's nobody. Nobody? Nobody. Less. Oh. Maybe even a man. One business, maybe not. I see. And before? Uh, before was it was good. And who bought your products? Foreigners or foreigners. locals? Most of the foreigners. And now less foreigners coming here? No foreigners. So we need to promote. We want to show that Afghanistan is beautiful and safe and people come to visit. They can come to visit without problems. Thank you. Except the bureaucracy for visiting. Try it, sir. But Kabul is easy to visit. Yeah, Kabul. For the paperwork. Uh, this yeah. door is expensive. Oh yeah, and how much is this door? Uh, this one, $3,000. $3,000? $3, it's also a very old door. So how, what brought you into collecting all these things? I have a friend, my brother helped me. Your brother, with your yeah. brother you had? Yeah. And how do you acquire all these things? 
requirements? Required to get to buy. Where do you buy this? Uh, from the uh, provinces. Ah, from the provinces you bring it to Kabul yeah. and you can get more here. I have the feeling there will be more tourists coming by next year. I'm certain about it. Definitely going to be more than this year. Yeah, this is all Afghan... Culture. Yeah, Afghan relics, I think. Artifacts. Beautiful. This was, yeah, you know, Mughal? Yeah, yeah. Many years. It's put at the ancient fire smelling good, burning. Oh, uh -huh. like incense. 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 Yeah. Okay. This is more than three, four hundred, three hundred years old. Four hundred years old. It could be like a museum, you know? Yeah. This, I feel like these antique shops are like museums. Yeah, it's yeah. like museums. It yes, it's fascinating. Interesting. So now we are officially on a chicken street. This is the chicken street. Yeah. Huh? I see. So you know this place. What other shops are interesting to see? Okay. Let's follow her advice. You can see Afghan carpets. Yeah. Yeah. Afghanistan is famous for the carpets. Why Afghan carpets are better than Iranian carpets? Yeah. Why? Is Iranian better? Iranian is better. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you shouldn't say this. <laughs> yeah, all right. Wow, for the winter. Yeah, for winter is coming. Yeah. Yes. Gemstones also yeah, famous here. here. Okay. Here the gemstones famous, and also we have uh -huh. mining dams like okay. quartz. I see. In Nuristan, Badakhshan. Okay. Yeah, we're if looking you... more for the uh, yeah, we have antiques. The... Yeah. Huh? We're looking for antiques. Oh. And he's as white as German, so white, blue eyes, yeah, same, same. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Nice to German? see you. Deutsch? Yes, yes. Deutsch. Oh. He's also. He speaks Deutsch. No, he cannot speak Deutsch. No. He cannot speak Deutsch. Oh, he looks like, like German. Oh, yes, so many shops here. Assalamu yeah. alaikum. What is this helmet? Yeah, can you tell me a bit about the helmet? Is this an Afghan helmet? No, no, this is, I think, European from which country. I don't Sorry, know. let me just skip up. Uh -huh. Can I take it out? Yes, yes, yes. Wow! Well, you should know this is German. It's not real, it's fake. Oh, it's a fake yeah. helmet. It's German. <laughs> yes. This is uh, it suits you. the old German. It doesn't fit well, though. It's a bit small for the narrow minded Nazis. <laughs> yeah. So, what is the most expensive piece you have? Boy. Wow. This is original. Original. Yeah. Look at this. Very fine. How much is it? What's the price? It is uh, $4,500. $4,500 US dollar. It is Safavid. It's, it was a, a protor in Iran, Afghanistan, and these parts. It's about 400 years old. It's 400 years old, I see. It's the old kingdom it's, of Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was not border between Afghanistan and yes. Iran, yeah? Wow. The this king's name was in that time uh, Ismail. 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 Yeah. Ismail, I see. I see you also have a nice bracelet. Yes, yes. Wow. Also very old, yes? Yes, also old. Wow. And how much is this? It is... Uh, $80 the price for this. Oh, $80 only for this? And it's like 100 years? And more than that. More than that, and only $80. Wow, very fascinating. Little bird. Yes? Come on, okay. Here. Let's have a look. The antique store. What's up? All clothing. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, very beautiful store. Farsi, Farsi, assalamu alaikum. Hello. Oh, I see. Tourists, yeah. Too many tourists in Kabul. I see. And what are you doing here right now? I see. Oh, you Polish. And what is this? Ah, it's a cooking pot. Yeah. Oh. Wow, you know her. Yeah. Everybody knows her. Madam. Yes. Uh huh. But, uh, look, uh, back today. Oh, to be careful here. Yeah. Yeah, oh. In the back alley, lots of interesting stuff. In boxes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Look 
at his keys. It's truly amazing. The coins. Medals. Medals. US. Oi. It's American, mm. right? I think so. He opened it for 1912. Oh, 1912. And that was 1913. Yeah, this is Russian. This is the bank money lock. Oh, it makes sense. Price is different, different. This one is one hundred fifty. This one is one hundred. This one hundred one fifty. I see. Well, what is the most expensive you have? No, I like this. Like expensive. no more. This is already the most expensive. Yeah. I see. Okay, so you see everything here is very affordable. Yeah, heaven. This is a for antique water. shopping. Aladdin, the magic lamp. So even the TV is antique. As you from the balcony. Careful here. Let's see. Street from above. What is the most expensive piece you have in your shop? What is the most expensive things <laughs> in this all, you know? And do you have something for a thousand dollar? Yeah. Yeah? Which we one? We have an old knife. Yeah? Yeah, the Can mask is a steel knife, like knife, uh -huh. antique knife. That's like $5,000. 5000 wow. Can we see them? Are they here? Can we see them? Yeah. Wow, all the expensive stuff are hidden. There you go. Wow. You see. This is the sword, very old one, and this is the mask is a steel knife with a gold building. Uh, wow. That's all. And this cover is also silver. Okay. This really holds nothing. Let's see. Very beautiful. Oi. Let's see, but it's the cover. No? This is the cover, yes. yes. First you take a picture oh, of yes. the cover. See, wow. This is the sword. This is the mask is steel too. Wow. Damascus steel? Damascus steel. So it's a Syrian sword? Hmm? Is this from Syria? Yeah. Is it Afghan or from Syria? Yeah, this is Afghan, but not like uh, from the, this like uh, yes. 300 or 400 years before. Uh -huh. It's not new. Right, right. Yeah. The old Afghan. Yeah, old Afghan. Yes. Oh, yeah. what would you do? Well, hello. <laughs> nice hello. to meet you. Yes. How are you? Good. Thank you. Um, what is the most expensive piece you have? Expensive? Yes. Uh, that's an expensive ring. Emerald. Yeah. With uh, emerald, uh, with uh, 18 gold. Yes. With diamond. Wow, this is like. This expensive. <laughs> this is wrong. How yeah. much? That. Thousand uh, dollar. No. Two thousand dollar. Two thousand dollar for yes, this stone. Yes, yes, yeah. That's a uh, gold. It's a real gold. Yes, yes. Twenty-four gold. Wow. Real diamond and real emerald. Okay. Very nice emerald panchir Afghanistan. Okay. Okay, so your shop is a lot of value you have here. You have so much value. If this costs 2,000, I see here uh, 10,000, 100,000 dollar. And how much is this? A bit less, right? No gold. So 500 dollar? 100 dollar. 100 dollar only? Yes, emerald Afghanistan. Oh, much cheaper. From Panchir. Yeah. Panchir province. Okay. Afghanistan. Interesting, amazing. Thank you very much. See you again. Nice Hello. to see you. Yes. Hello, I'm very good. Nice to see welcome. you again. Welcome, yeah, my sir. friends are here. So I met them last time already. Yeah. Uh, they had uh, like a very. This is probably the most expensive thing. We ask all the shops what is the most expensive thing they have. And this vase was the most. Ring, what shop bracelets. Here? Here. Bracelets. Oh, yeah. Very nice picture. Um, yes. Uh, uh, Leave it. Everyone. Yeah, it came up. So here we have a antique store. Yeah, yeah, they're all of antique. Yes. Wow. This is my father. Hello, salam alaikum. Yes. And you have coins? Yeah. What are these coins? This is Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Oh, the old currency? Yeah, the old yeah. currency. Oh, okay. And this one also looks very pretty. Yeah. Uh, this is Taiwan, uh, China, China, uh, China. This is from Taiwan, I think. Oh. Because Zhonghua Mingo represents oh, yes. Taiwan. Wow. Taiwanese coin. I think this is Mr. Jiang. Uh, Jiang Jie Shi. Uh. 
You know wow. the the leader, the founder of Taiwan, okay. yeah, Mr. Zhang. How much is this? Two thousand of guinea. Two thousand of guinea. Yeah. Oh, twenty yeah. pounds. Oh. Yes, yeah, cash. Yes, cash. Yes, cash. Yeah. Well, but it's like so big, yeah. It's yeah, it's big. Can we bring this to the airport? Ivory yeah. pipe. Yeah, we are. It's pipe. real ivory. Quite big. Yes. yes. Real ivory pipe yes, for yeah. smoking. Oh, hey. Yeah. You can smoke color yeah. with the, <laughs> with the uh, ivory pipe. Wow. So what is the most expensive piece you have? Oh, he gets it from under. Oh, it's hidden. From this? From Buddha temple. Wow. Islamis. Okay. This is the Islamis. You had to go for this, Let's see. This is the Kufa in Britain. Yes. Maybe from the in the okay. primary years of Islam. I see. Yeah, this was. Well, how old is this? In the primary of Islam, maybe mm, 1,500 years ago. 1,500 years. And how much does it cost? I ask every people from the country. Yes, maybe $35,000. $35,000? Maybe $40,000. Because the dollars. Okay. Wow. Maybe $40,000. $40,000. Very expensive. Because it was made in the primary years of Islam. Okay. A bronze of African awards. Have Jewish men. Yeah, this is bronze. Wow. Yes. He had the chest. Is Angelus had kufa Yes. Okay. Very and nice. A, this is a uh, Arabic uh, uh, or characters. Yes. Yes. Characters. Wow. Thank you very much. No. The main part, yeah. the main body is silver. Yes. But it's the water of uh, gold. Uh huh. Gold yes. plate. Yeah. Okay. It is called gold plate. Okay. Yes. He chest kufa. He little massive. Lilo? Lilo. Okay, yeah, I don't know what is his oh, name in English. But okay. in, Pashto, in Persian, we call Lilum. Lilum? Yes. Okay. Lilum. And, and it's cost about uh, $30. Uh, $30, yes. Oh, yes. 30 pounds, oh, yes. Yeah, oh, the old German, the East German. Yeah. There's Russian occupation. Mm. Russian occupation was? Yes, before, after the Second World War. After the Second War? Yes. Okay. But maybe, uh, yeah, there is something. Yeah. Oh, for Dienstorden, you see DDR is East Germany. For military? Yeah, oh, military. how do you get this <laughs> military <laughs> order? He could shagla, said shagla gallas. This is the shape of car. Yes. They found it in the underneath. Of, yes. This is totally iron. It's so heavy. Yes. Wow, totally iron. Very heavy. Very, very heavy. Yeah, 2 kg in Pinjaga. This 2 kg. The small thing is 2 kg. 2 kg and 50 gram. And what was it used for? Is it a nose? Maybe this is the shape of coal. I'm I don't know also. <laughs> yeah. Look. You also have to make a sesh for me. To the bookish. Wow. A magic. Mister, talk about for antique this yes. light. Yes. What is this special thing? Oh. It's just golden palette. Okay. Golden palette. Yeah. Golden palette. Yeah. And yeah. how much does it cost? Fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 And what material is it? Yes, it's Jewish. We have any yeah. philizas. Yes. Yes, iron. Iron. And the price? How much is it? Two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, that's not too much. Two hundred fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So maybe I can post online and people come and buy. Yeah. I personally may be interested in small thing, but maybe if it's online, people come and buy big things here. It would be nice. I see also Islamic plates. Yes. Very nice. Are there many shops like this in the city? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So this is not the only shop. No, no, no. All of them. This entire street. Yes. The whole street. Ah, this is the antique street. Yeah. They call that antique street. Yes. Okay. This is made by hand. Oh, hand. The body is from Afghanistan or Rostam. Yes. Yes. This is a place. Yes. Uh, is this the chicken street? Chicken street. This is the chicken street. Yes. Oh, I heard. Have you met Emma? Emma, the tourist. She also went to the chicken street. Ah, uh, this is the famous chicken street where Emma with us, the traveler. You know Emma. She's a very famous uh, video maker. That's why I'm here actually. I meet her tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna meet Emma. There's a Scottish lady. 
Oh, so yes, she, yeah. she makes videos and she travels yeah. now. She's in Kandahar or somewhere. Okay. Ah, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Good Thank boy. you. I also wish you good luck with everything, and maybe you'll come back later for a coin or a ring. Head shop. You bought a new head, yes. What about these ones? Actually, they're also nice. Yeah, I like them. So, I'm getting a new hat, a local hat. Maybe stand out a bit less. See, he's got one on. Oh, yes, right. And he's got one on. And he's got one on. You were a bit worried there that you were going to be the only one. This is the, uh, is it the most, the fanciest hotel of uh, Kabul? No, I don't think it's the fanciest. They have Intercontinental as well, but it's one of the fanciest. Very nice hotel. Safi Landmark. But they don't even have this fake Fanta. It's expired. The fake Sprite is expired, so no drinks. Thanks most so of the shops are closed. It's so completely empty, you know. You see everything, the lights are off, yeah. So it's really run down and... Uh, it's not really run down. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> such a nice hotel. Yeah, they're washing the dishes in the toilet. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. the public toilet. Yeah, so would you recommend this hotel? Yeah, I stay here every time. Oh, ah, yes, yes. And why? Because it's central. Central, good location. The location, I yeah. see. it's safe. Very safe. Safety, location, um, plenty nearby. Yes, and fast internet. And the internet, the Wi-Fi, I'm able to upload videos. The here. best, the best here in uh, Kabul. Yeah, yeah. That so I've found. internet is quite slow everywhere here, but it's still enough to upload a video, so it's not horribly bad. In the evening prayer, just begin. They're having 150 rooms and there's one resident, party. there's one resident and apparently one more, music, one music more. So three people in this entire hotel. <laughs> you can haggle the price down to $30 and I would come to subscribe to Emma, Wandering Emma. Wandering Emma. Yeah, and Christmas list. Big adventures are coming up from Afghanistan. Yes.